This video is about strategies for dividing fractions and goes along with 6th grade CPM, Chapter 7, Section 2, Lesson 1. In class today, we were looking at double number lines, where for this problem, we were had 3 fourths of a yard and needed to be divided by 1 sixth of a yard. And we were able to draw this and look at it and say that uh, if we had 3 fourths of a yard and needed divided into sixths, we could have four whole sections and a half section here. But if it's something like a birdhouse or you're selling something, you're not going to want this last half here because that's not a full item that you're able to sell, so we're looking at four. But if you are solving it for a specific algorithm, you would have four and a half. But this is not the only way to divide fractions. So let's look at another strategy. One way you might look at it is with this, where you have 7 fourths divided by 1 eighth. And another way you could write that is 7 fourths divided by 1 eighth. But something you might not have thought about, besides the reciprocal, is that we can take our first fraction, in this case 7 fourths, and multiply it by our giant 1, such as something as 2 over 2, so that we get a common denominator, in this case 8. And then 7 times 2 would be 14. So 14 eighths is the same as 7 fourths. Once we have that, we can do our 14 eighths divided by 1 eighth, and then we can go straight across. So then we end up with 14 over 1, which is the same as 14. And if we were to multiply that out using the strategy that we looked at before, um, with the reciprocal, we could do 7 fourths times 8 over 1, which gives us 56 over 4, which we could then simplify down to 14 once again. And so you have two strategies here. You have this first one, where you're looking at a common denominator and dividing left to right, or you have the second strategy on the bottom, where you are using the reciprocal and solving it across. Two different ways to do it. Try this one on your own using the strategy of common denominators. 3 fourths divided by 7 twelfths. Now when you solved it this way, you probably approached it similarly to what I did, because I did ask you to do common denominators. So we started by rewriting it. We multiplied it by our giant one, 3 over 3, because we knew we wanted 12. And we got 9 twelfths. And once we got here, we saw that we have 9 twelfths divided by 7 twelfths. And if you're thinking about it, you might look at it and say, I know that 9 divided by 7 is not going to get me a whole number. So in that case, it is OK to put 9 sevenths as your numerator of another fraction. And then 12 divided by 12 is 1. We're going to simplify that down to 9 sevenths, because remember, anything over 1 is itself. And then we can simplify it down even more to get 1 and 2 sevenths. So it is a little bit longer, but it is a possible process. Okay, Try solving this problem on your own using whatever strategy you want. You can use common denominators or another one that you have in mind. Sally was baking cookies and had four-fifths of a cup of chocolate chips. If each batch needs two-thirds of a cup of chocolate chips, how many batches could she make? Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you know if you're dividing four-fifths by two-thirds or two-thirds divided by four-fifths. In this case, it's going to be four-fifths divided by two-thirds. And the reason is you have four-fifths of a cup that are being divided by two-thirds because you want the two-thirds to go into the four-fifths. And then you're able to work from it that way. If you did it with common denominators, it might look something like this where you take it and multiply the first part to get a common denominator, and then multiply the second part to get a common denominator. And then you're able to just work it across, in which you get 1 and 1 fifth. If you do it by multiplying the reciprocal, it might look like this, where you have 4 fifths times 3 halves, which 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, which simplifies to 1 and 2 tenths, which simplifies down even more to 1 and 1 fifth. 